Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny. Once again and always, thank you for watching. For this video, I am going to run through some racks of Ghost 8-Ball. So I'm going to take it through each rack with some instruction for each shot. What I'm doing, what I'm seeing, why I'm doing it, spin, speed, control, thinking ahead, everything that you need to do to be able to run out not just 8-Ball, but any kind of discipline of pool. So the game is Ghost, which means after the break, you have ball in hand, but you only have one opportunity to run out either your stripes or solids, and if you miss, the ghost wins. So there is no room for error on this. It is a great game to play if you are on your own, no competition, COVID times, and uh, still want to have a little bit of competition in your game to keep up your skill level. We want to get the balls as open as possible off of the break, so we'll hit them as as hard as we can control, which for me is about 75% of what I'm able to do. And we have ball in hand after the break. So first thing you have to do, whether it's eight ball, nine ball, 10 ball, whatever you're playing, you have to survey the table and figure out what is going to trip you up in a rack. So we're gonna look for clusters. And right now I'm seeing some stripes and solids all together here and the rest of the table wide open. So I am definitely going to want to start in this area. I just got to figure out which ones are going to give me the best opportunity to be able to get out. So I think that the solids are going to be the best chance. The only thing I'm thinking is that this nine ball could get in the way of shape to an eight because I'm not going to be touching these stripes here so the eight ball does not go in here it goes in here but shape to the eight ball might get cut off by the nine so I want to move that right away so what I'm going to do is two ball into the side pocket roll forward and just nudge the nine out of here Just get it out of the way. We don't need that here. It's only going to make things worse. So, next ball that I got to get to is the four. Four ball is my next biggest problem with this and should be able to get pretty decent shape from the one unless we want to attack it now. Don't want to leave it to the end, that's for sure. That's why I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to play my cue ball over into this area as soon as possible to be able to get this four. If I leave this four to the end, chances are I'm not going to have a very good angle and I'm probably not going to get on the eight or the shot on the eight is going to be extremely tough. So we've got some angle here that we can cheat the three, play the cue ball straight into that side rail. So I'm thinking that I'm just going to go one rail with topspin back over into this area here for the four ball next. So top spin. And it ran a little bit too far, but you know what? We've got the one ball. If we stop, we can shoot the four next anyways. Perfect. So that is a key thing to remember in eight ball. Uh, just because it didn't go 100% according to plan on the first one, you've got more options, don't get tunnel vision. You can always continue on your run by going to a different ball. So from here, from the four, I do not want to be shooting over top of the 14, 13 kind of thing here to be able to shoot the seven ball next because that's where I'm going after this. So if I just stop, I don't want to be doing this. So I am going to roll the cue ball forward. Sure, I'm going to have a little bit longer shot on the seven, but I'm not going to be shooting over top of the balls. And if I can get closer into this area here, I'm going to have a good angle on the seven that I can pop the cue ball out into this area here. So we'll roll forward towards the corner. actually cheated the pocket there a little bit to the left hand side just so that I could stay in this area here. Now I've got a great angle to be able to go seven with bottoms 
and check it over to either have the five or the six next. There we go. Now we are planning how we're going to do these last two balls to be able to get on the ten or the, the eight ball and keeping in mind that we've got to be over there or over here, but easier to be over there by that side pocket to be able to shoot the eight ball into here. So if we take the six right now, cue ball is coming out here. That's not where we want to be at all. So we'll take the five, we'll roll it soft and just kind of hold for this shape here. So we're going to hold the cue ball so that when we take the six, we can roll right down to the eight. So just a soft shot. Ah, a little bit too far. All right. So unfortunately, I hit that one a little bit too hard and now I'm straight on the six, which means I'm going to have to do a little bit more to get over into this area here. So straight on, I'd probably just draw it out. So stay down on the shot, power draw, one rail back out. Thankfully, it was a nice angle that I had to be able to pull that off. Eight ball. There we go. Okay, guys, rack number two. We'll hit them square from the center. Hit as square into the one as we can, hit them hard, open them up. All right, so because my hit into the one ball was a little bit off to the side, that's why we end up with clusters like this. If I could have come up with a better break where I hit square into the one ball, I would have got a lot better spread. There's no balls down there, there's no balls down there, so that's gonna make this rack a little bit tougher for sure. Now, to get out on this one, let's see here. The stripes are all together over there with a very easy nine ball, a 15 that's stuck in the middle, and 12 ball that's out in no man's land. We got, for solids, all of these balls here accessible, a one ball that's kind of tied up, and a 2-7 that aren't the easiest in the world. So, let's see here. I think the best way to go at this one is gonna be solids. And we're gonna attack our problem right away. So we're gonna go get rid of this one ball. Now, one ball goes up there, it also goes into here. That one down there is a tougher pot but it allows me to just stop the cue ball right here to have proper access onto the two. If I go one ball that way, then I gotta make the cue ball roll forward a little bit rather than this one here just being a stop shot. So let's pop this one in. All right, and because I was just able to stop the cue ball and not have to do anything crazy with it, means that I'm right on the two, and even though that shot on the one was a little bit tougher, that pocket, than this pocket, because of the positioning of the cue ball, made that the right shot. So let's go two ball with bottom right, and we're just gonna draw back out into the middle here, soft shot. All right, so coming back into the middle is going to give us the best opportunity to be able to finish off the rest of these balls. So we're nicely on the seven. From the seven, where do we want to go next? We shoot the seven and stop. Then we can take three ball, draw back for the four. Four ball does pass into the side here. It's got some, uh, some room. But we might have to adjust that plan anyways. So let's go stop ball on the seven. Three ball draw back bottom right. 
and get nicely onto the floor. All right, so four ball, we've got enough pocket there to be able to shoot the four, and we've got good position to be able to make it and roll forward to the, probably the six ball next. Same thing, six ball into the side pocket, which isn't totally open again, but we gotta have good shot making. Draw back a little bit. There we go. So the 11 and the nine both covered up parts of the pocket, but not the whole thing. So just need some good shot making to get around those ones. This five ball here, come to the rail, back out, eight ball in the same pocket. A little bit of stun, maybe a little bit of right hand side. So. If you picture the, the center of the cue ball, a little bit to the right, a little bit lower. There we go, good position to the, uh, to the eight ball. There we go, rack number two. Okay, rack number three. A lot better square hit this time on the one ball, which means that we got the balls a little bit more open this time than we did last time. So what do we see on this one? We see a 10 ball that passes, a seven that doesn't, nine ball, easy, 15, no problem. These balls here pass. So stripes is definitely a better option here. So what is our key ball? to be able to get to the eight. Not gonna be these ones. Don't wanna have to come from below a rack up back to the eight ball. It's, it just makes things easier. It's personal preference really, but the 11 ball would act nicely as a key ball. So the only problems that I see in this rack is you gotta be good on the 15 to shoot the 10. So we got ball in hand. Let's be good on the 15. To shoot the 10. Just roll forward, get right over to the rail there where we can make the 10 and roll forward out here to make the 9. There we go. So 9 ball. Over into this area here to shoot the 13 would probably be the best choice next. That is not the most comfortable cueing, so we'll get the right go. All right, so lesson in shooting with the rake. The rake is a substitute for your hand. It needs to be down on the table. It cannot be up like this, floating around, because that means that things are moving around when your hand's on the table, your hand never moves, so why would you want this to move? So let's get this into the right spot, and we're going to pin it down onto the table like this when we're ready to shoot it. Grip on the, grip on the cue is a dart, and we want to keep the elbow up. So let's keep the elbow up. Okay, we've got everything into the right position now, so we'll pin the rake down. And we will follow oh, a little bit more, need a little bit more cue space in there for the amount of power that I'm going to put on this one. So, pin the rake down, draw back, follow through, elbow up. And that's a pretty good shot getting on the 13. So from here, we plan the rest of our run out. How are we getting out of the rest of this one? So, we wanna shoot the 13 bottoms. Just hold the cue ball over here. For the 14 next, let's see what kind of angle we get. All right, 
right. 14, we can roll off of here and be up in here. And then we can take the, off of the 12, we can have the 11 into the, either side it goes. So let's not drop ourselves down on the rail here. We'll get to the rail and get back out of it. There we go. A little bit straight to be able to get down into here. So I'll go 12 ball into there with top spin. One rail back out. Maybe put a touch of left on the cue ball just to check it. There we go, land nicely on the 11. Now this shot here, if we roll forward, we're gonna to have to shoot over top of the four ball. If we draw back, we've got open cueing. So let's draw back a little bit. and have an easy eight ball to finish. If I had rolled forward, I'm shooting this one from here. Chances of missing it go through the roof. And eight ball completed. So I hope you enjoy this instructional video on playing the ghost in eight ball. If you do, make sure you like it, give me a subscribe, thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.